Hi guys, I know you mentioned the uh, higher price is a little bit out of the customer's reach, but I just wanted to make sure, uh, I just want to send this video really just to compare, uh, let the customer experience uh, what uh, that type of money could give him uh, with our sort of technology as well. Because I don't believe this is what he'd be getting uh, for the price. I think he'd be getting something very similar to the lower cost option uh, that we were going to show. So I'll show that as well in a minute. <clears throat> um, but what I've got set up here is our laser profiling head. And you can see this is the LJX 8200 head. Uh, I've got that uh, wired with a little trigger sensor here. I've got a milk bottle, two litre carton. And we're just basically profiling this as it comes through underneath. So I'd start the conveyor, the bottle run, goes underneath and we actually build up the profile as you actually see. So that's basically what we've got there. Then I can just quickly show some example of what I've got on the PC. So that comes back to the PC screen. You can see here, I've just spent a little bit of time just capturing several images of different conditions. And I'll, uh, I'll create a quick simulator in, in a second just to show that, but just very briefly as a 3D image, I'm just gonna uh, just flip this around so you can actually see what's actually happening. And this particular one, if I get it in the correct orientation, you should be able to see. Maybe you can just make out it's, uh, it's slightly proud at this side. It doesn't necessarily show itself very well at the moment. Just uh, wait for the simulator in two seconds. Thanks. Hi, so to follow on from the, uh, the previous uh, clip, uh, this is the simulation that I've just created now and I can run through all those captured images through the simulator so we can see them in a much better format, obviously. Uh, the views that I've got here, this is the current grayscale image in the top left. Top right is the current height image just looking down from above. The uh, view just below that is the, uh, the, the again, the, the height image, but uh, we can manipulate this one around to show like the, the 3D profile. So let's leave this position, maybe something like this on the horizontal so we can see what's happening. And then this is just a binarized image. So let me just explain how uh, the system's actually working. I'm, I'm using only three tools. Uh, so a very simple program. First tool, uh, we put a plane across roughly just above the, the uh, neck height. And that'll extract anything that's uh, up above that uh, height and format it as white in, the, in this image here. And then we just find the center of gravity of that target. That is just purely uh, to track the location of the, uh, the top of the cap. That's just a location tracking feature. That's all we're using that for. Second tool that we've got, uh, maybe if I just go individually to the tool list, I can show this. We're just creating a plane around the neck of the bottle here. And we're just look, looking at the average height. And you can see it's, it's flagged the maximum min height that it can see but we're just looking at the plane of the average height. And then from that plane, we're then uh, positioning another tool on the top and comparing the maximum minimum that we can see within this zone here. So let's just flick back to the, uh, the default screen that I had there, and then I can trigger through some of these captured images. So the first one was okay. Next one looks pretty okay. The next one, and you can see here now the contrast change showing like the higher area, very visual, it's a nice visual representation of what you can see. And you can see it's, co it's cocked up at the side there on this one as well. And then also we've got the actual measurement data. There's like a 6.9 millimeter change in the peak to peak height across the cap. So that's uh, what we've got there. Then similar one here, but 5.5 mil, uh, also a slightly, uh, slightly cocked cap. And then 3.2 mil, a little bit more subtle, uh, 5.1 again. And then here we've got no cap situation. So again, I'm detecting like the presence of the cap through using the height information as well. And uh, I'm flagging that as a, a no good here as well. That's basically uh, all the tools that are in there. So nice, simple, uh, simple program, just those three tools. I'll explain another method uh, using the uh, CVX as well, just to follow shortly. Thank you. 
So just a quick overview of the different uh, settings and the, all the equipment used uh, through the final solution with the, uh, the 2D solution, with the, just the 2D camera and a backlight. So uh, just to quickly take you through those, these are all the items. We've got the camera controller, the, the uh, five meter cable, uh, some uh, monochrome black and white camera, sp uh, 0.5 mil spacer, 16 millimeter uh, anti-vibration lens so it's uh, we don't want anything dropping off um, in a food environment and also the vibration of the conveyor and things like that uh, the light expansion unit and uh, lighting cable backlight and then monitor monitor cable industrial SD card and power supply so those are all the items that we used uh, for the test and that's what we've uh, that's what we put a price against then um, this is just a quick setup of the hardware. So you can see we've got the camera and lens over here, uh, mounted round about 260 millimeters from the center line of the milk bottle. The gray area here is the, the milk carton itself. And then uh, the backlight situated a further 100 millimeters behind that. So this is the kind of like physical constraint that you'd need. It is possible to bring this distance closer, but I would highly, highly discourage it because uh, if we wanted to keep the price low, we want to use this type of slightly cheaper lens, which it doesn't have like a telecentric properties. And if you get movement in the bottle position, it's going to look much larger or much smaller, and you're going to see a distortion in that. So to get the best out of it, it's better to mount it as far as we can uh, or a reasonable distance away. Um, and 260 is, is where I would like to, like to nail it at the moment. Uh, the field of view, just in terms of that, I can just quickly show. We had around about 56 mil in the Y axis and the vertical axis, and we can see that uh, just as a screen capture that I did here as well. So I'll lead, lead it on now to the the uh, video of the, of the simulation solution. Uh, just as a basic overview, uh, I'll just quickly describe what we've got set up here. So I'll just run one captured image through, and you can see Again, it's a very simple program, just two tools I'm using. Uh, so let's just quickly go into the setup mode and I'll take it from there. So the first tool is just tracking the leading edge of the milk bottle uh, and we're just using that as a positional reference. And that just positions the other tool relative to where it sees that edge. And then the other tool is basically a profile position tool. And you can maybe just make out if I zoom in, there's some little dots along the edge of the profile. And this is measuring all the points along this, uh, along the top of the cap. And then we're trying to plot from all those points, like a line of best fit, which is the, the trend line that you see going through. And then when the cap is slightly cocked, you can see uh, there's a, like a deviation in the angle. And then also if it's, if it's cocked actually away or towards us, then there's a height change physically as well. So uh, again, it should be uh, quite a reasonable solution. It does have some uh, slight snags in that you can't detect as fine a defect as you could with the 3D. And we're just limited to the, the one side view. So we can only say from this like 2D snapshot, uh, the perspective is okay. But anyway, overall, I think it's still gonna be a reliable, good solution. Price is kind of like half the price. So <laughs> it's up to the customer, I guess. Uh, so let's just go back into the run mode and I'll just take you through a couple of the screenshot images that we, we created for here. So the first one was a pass, that was looking well. Second one also a pass, a little bit of deviation in the position. You can see it's tracked and moved the tools appropriately. Third one, again, a little bit of movement. And you can see now this one, uh, it's slightly cocked and slightly raised up at the back there. And we can see we're generating the angle is uh, 6.1 degrees. And then also the edge position results. So the height is also failing as well due to it uh, uh, moving up slightly there as well. So slightly different result, opposite angle. And then this is kind of like towards us. Again, we just see the height more, not so much on the angle now. And then uh, again, away from us there, the angle. So you can note here though, the angle is, uh, is pretty true. Um, and this is the type of defect that where it would benefit from additional camera just to secure it if it's very subtle in that direction. Um, but you can see there is a height change as well. So still overall, you're, you're gonna catch that.
then uh, this is obviously without any cap and you can see it's profiled that as well and detected as a, as a missing part and then back to a good part so that's it really very simple solution um, the rough sort of budget figure we just punched some numbers in and I'll just quickly pull it back up uh, but I can I can put those in a, in a following email as well thank you